welcome back, event marketers. We are here at Event Tech in Las Vegas at the Bellagio Hotel. We're having great conversations with brand marketers, and I have a great guest this morning. This is Kathleen Mudge from Cisco. And you work on the Cisco Live event, which I is do. massive, right? It's it a is huge massive. event. It is tell, huge. Tell people about this event if they maybe don't know. But are... Right, it's an event we have each year, mm -hmm. and it's hosted in a different city each year, mm -hmm. and we have the, U, the North American one, that's our largest one. And we have last year record-breaking attendance of 36,000 and we had 130,000 uh, unique views online. So again, we have the physical attendees, mm -hmm. but then we also have those who are attending from all over the world yeah, getting scaling it. Scaling it out outside yes, of the walls. Yes. How did it get so big? 36,000 is like, it's a massive amount. Who's coming to this event? Well, they're users, customers, uh -huh. okay. and so they're yeah, interested in what uh, the new technology is for Cisco, what the uh, thought trend, uh, what the leaders are saying in, in that space, and learning about you know what's coming on the horizon uh, for Cisco and the industry as a whole, mm -hmm. and of course, details about what Cisco is doing to help them with their you know challenges and what what technology we have to help them with that. So you've got all these people coming together, 36,000 people. How do you how do you help them feel like they're getting a personalized experience in such a big event? That's a huge challenge for us, and that's where I love the role of social media mm -hmm. in the event because that plays a huge role in every aspect of it. Where we want to connect with the the attendees, not just during the event, which is the peak time when everyone's so excited and ramped up and just drinking the Cisco Kool-Aid, really, but all year long, right? We get this conversation going. We, we want the customers to network with themselves as well as the connection with the brand. So as you mentioned, the, the conference has really grown, and I've, I've been working with Cisco since 2010, and the amount of growth, is it's it's unbelievable. I, just 36%, I think, in the last uh, less than two years. So it's a huge increase in the number of attendees, and we want them to feel connected with the brand, and that's where social comes in, where we can connect with them and engage with them online 24-7, wherever they are, and that's how we use social to amplify messages from the Cisco brand, amplify what the customers are saying, connect the conversation between different customers, and I'll see where they'll have a conversation online, say for instance on Twitter, where someone will come in with a question and someone else will answer mm -hmm. from a user mm -hmm. from a yeah. user perspective of how they've met that challenge, again, on social. So it's something we try to nurture and again, help them connect, help us connect with them from the brand. And they just love that acknowledgement and being known that they're heard by the brand. Whereas it's such a big company, and we all know dealing with big companies, you feel lost and disconnected. So people will often shout out through social about a frustration, and I am able through the brand yeah. to connect with them and you know let them know they've been heard and try to find an answer, an expert, or whatever it may be to help them with their situation. So what does it look like for you at an event with your social media? Is it a, a bunch of people sitting around watching Twitter and trying to figure out how to amplify stories, or do you have a, a pit of people that are? We do doing have that? a pit, and we actually brought it out to the conference floor, mm -hmm. which was a great opportunity for us to showcase again what the, the uh, social media conversations are. So people will even walk by; they'll get interested, they'll be more engaged in the conversation. We'll amplify comments from attendees, and they love that acknowledgement. They love being showcased as, oh, I just tweeted this, or you know, I shared this photo, and it's up on a big screen. They love seeing that. I also love this one time a year when I actually get to have a whole team help with this conversation, because there may be a thousand tweets in one hour, yeah. and we have to look at it. I want you yeah. know, to every tweet to be looked at, or every social update to be looked at from whatever channels we are participating in, and that attendee will be responded to within seconds, and that's what's so meaningful to them, to know that they're being heard, yeah. seen, and responded to as appropriate so that they can get that connection with the brand, feel like they're part of it, and we'll also use that content in the general section during, during walk-in and during the keynotes, again, to amplify them, the customer. This is what you're saying. These are some of your comments, and it just, I think, 
makes them feel more appreciated mm -hmm. and acknowledged. So what is the mix of the types of content you do? Some of it is brand message, like there are is there some things you pick out each day that tie to the keynotes and things like that? Exactly. We do have um, staff that are listening to the keynote and we have key quotes that we can tell from monitoring the conversation that this is resonating yeah. with our attendees. So we'll take that quote, say from John Chambers, slap it on a, a pretty graphic that we have uh, created in mm -hmm. advance so we can instantly put it out. Yeah. And they love that and they'll see that, it, it, the, the visuals it garner so much more attention, but they'll see that graphic with that quote, they'll retweet it, so it just gets amplified and it's saying what, what they want Sad. I mean, I know myself, I'm not the fastest, you know, typing out a tweet. Yeah. The, the younger millennials are much better at that. So, and our demographic, fortunately for me, is, you know, 35 to, you know, a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's easier for me to connect with that than, than someone who'd be 15. But yeah, they, they tweet things, things out, but we're able to capture these things and they can just retweet it and then share it with their audience in this pretty format, which again, just helps spread that's, the word. That's a really subtle twist on this. A lot of people would put the quote on Twitter, but here you're actually putting it onto a graphic, right. which then it, it's visual, yes. right? And so much, it's easy to share. It's so much nicer when you have like this great photo of John Chambers, if that's the quote, yeah. you know, coming out with, you know, we're all nerds and proud of it, which they love, okay. you know, and that goes out and the retweets on that were huge. So things like that, which, yeah, yeah we know resonates with them or we can see, you know, spikes in the, the conversation in real time as we're reminded of the conversation. And again, yeah. share that through the social stream so then they're able to amplify. So what's success for you at a show? You talk about trending. Um, I mean, what, is it measurement? Do you just look at what's happening or is it more metrics like uh, awareness of these messages? Well, it, it is aware. It's awareness mm -hmm. of the attendees. It's yeah. it's the sentiment from them. Yeah. It, and it, with an event, especially, it's, it's it's so complicated. Our event too. It's not just big. It's complicated. Yeah. We have over 700 sessions, so it's a lot of and all sorts of different activities going on. So it can be frustrating for attendees. And through social, we can help navigate that experience and help you know them get through the day, if they're having trouble finding something, it's, we're like a virtual help desk. So they're able to just tweet out a question, for instance, yeah. or post something on Facebook, and then we're able to answer them to help them, again, get to where they're going or figure out what they what they should be doing next. We're, we're there to assist during this very, you know, overwhelming conference, what it is for a lot of them, because it's over, or about 50% of our attendees each year are new to the conference, okay. which is, it's hard even for someone like me who works on it all year to figure out what's going on. But as someone who's new to that, it's really complicated in a new venue, in a new place. Even the veterans, you know, it's a, it's a new venue. So they get to come and have help right at their fingertips through social media with questions that arise. Or if issues arise or if there's a problem, it could be there's a bird in the room. They, they'll put that on Twitter. We can let them know, thanks, we're on it. We send someone to go address that. Or there's coffee out at this station. Well, you know, anything. Yeah. It comes up with at any sort of question, we're able to acknowledge them yeah. so they know they're being heard yeah. and address it. Which just really brings it down to a much more intimate level. Right. Which is great. When you're in a sea of people, to be heard. Well, way. it's really nice when we find, you know, a piece of content and we retreat it or something, yeah. and then they favor that, right? Or right. if we reply to them, they favor that. So we know yeah. that they means a lot to them <laughs> yeah. that, oh, look, Cisco Live responded to me, and they're yeah. favoring that. So it meant a lot to them. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, that's great. Well, we wish you the best of luck to continue to do great things, and well, I hope we can check in again with you Absolutely. in the future. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, it's so great good luck with Cisco here. Live. And, and thanks for watching. Um, We'll be, have some more interviews with brand marketers here from Event Tech, and check us out on the web at Event Marketer All Access. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.